Hello everybody. I'm going to show you guys how to um, restore your Mac to factory settings. If you're like me and you th you're thinking, oh my gosh, I have so much files on my Mac and I want to start over again from when I first bought the Mac. It's easy. You'll need your Mac OS X install DVD and your um, applications install DVD that came with the computer. I'll simply I'll be using my iLife 11 disk because I got I upgraded iLife 09 to iLife 11 on my mid 2010 MacBook Pro. Um, the first thing you're gonna do if you have any boot camp partitions like me, you're gonna want to, you're going to remove them. So go to Applications, find Utilities, and find Boot Camp Assistant. Click Continue. Make sure you select create or remove a Windows partition. Click continue. Click restore to remove the Windows partition and restore the single the disk to a single partition Mac OS X volume. Warning the Windows volume and all of its contents will be permanently lost. Click restore. Easy enough, right? Type your password. Okay, once you've typed your password, click OK, and then it'll do that. Alright, now that it's done, just hit quit. And if you have any bootloaders like Refit, just click on the Finder window, click on the Macintosh HD, and you'll see EFI if you have Refit. You'll see that folder. Just delete it, move it to the trash, it'll again ask for your password. There we go. So you deleted that. Now close that finder window. Right click the trash and click on empty trash and click on empty trash. There you go. Next thing is you'll need to back up your iPhoto library to an external hard drive if you have one. So it connects your external hard drive to your computer. Alright, well mine's loading up. Um, I'm gonna empty oh I already emptied my trash, never mind. But to empty your trash, you're gonna want to empty your trash from that EFI folder. You're just right click and hit empty trash. And double click your external drive. Put it on the bottom. Now open another finder and put it on the top. Okay? And now on my external drive, I'm going to create a new folder. Okay. Wait. Um, oh, here we go. I'll use this folder. Right. New folder. iPhoto library. Done. So you'll see now your iPhoto library and your external drive. Now, in this finder, you want to start at your home folder and double click pictures, and you'll see um, iPhoto library right here. Drag it. Well, first, open that folder so you have the blank folder there. Drag that iPhone library, iPhoto library, to the um, next folder and then a copy window should come up and when it's done I'll tell you what to do okay alright now um, that your iPhoto library is done copying I've already closed my top finder window you close yours and leave your external drive finder window open next we're going to back up our music folder if you have one I do so I want to do that's my iTunes minimize that finder window Right click on the finder, click new finder window, double click music, and you'll see iTunes right there. Bring up your other iTunes or er, finder folder and leave it on the bottom and copy. Well, no, just drag that down to the external drive and then there we go. So, copying, it'll 
I've got like almost six gigabytes of music, so it'll take a while. And I will be back when that's done. Copying. Okay, now that your music is done, just copy over to your storage folder that you created on your external hard drive anything else you'd like to be copied. Me, I don't really have anything else. So this thing you're going to do is you're going to eject your external drive properly by dragging its icon on the desktop to the trash folder. And unplugging it. Okay. So, now, the next step is to open system preferences. And also before you do this, now would be a good time to find this Mac OS X install DVD. And go to user accounts. And the admin is your account. And any other account, delete it. First click the lock to authenticate changes. Type your password. Click OK. OK. Click on your other accounts, or uh, if it's one account, other account. Click the minus, and click delete the home folder. Click OK. And now, click the lock again. And go to accounts again. Hit login item. Or where is it? Where do you change that? Oh well, that doesn't matter. Um, there, alright, now close that and open system preferences again. And if you were wanting to know what didn't matter, it was turning um, uh, the login screen off, but it doesn't matter. Um, just go, just to double check, go to system preferences. Go to startup disk, click Macintosh HD, and then close. Now restart your computer. Okay. So we start with a clean session with no programs open. And now your computer should boot just normally for Mac OS X like this. And I'll be back when I get to the desktop. Okay, now that you're at the OS X desktop, you're going to want to quit anything in the menu bar that's open. So, me, I have that. Quit. Yes. Um, time Machine, you can leave. Bluetooth, you can leave. Fine, alright. So that's good. It's fine now. Take your... Now... Take your install DVD, or if you want to call it restore disk, call it restore disk, and slide it into your Mac. And just wait for it to load. And during the installation, you will have to use the trackpad. Bluetooth mouse, I believe you can connect it, but it's kind of hard, and just wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it unless you have an iMac, and you need to use that, the Bluetooth mouse. But if you do, if you don't, if you have an, a USB mouse for your iMac and you're using the Bluetooth mouse, use the USB mouse, it'll, mouse, it'll be much better. So anyway, here, there that opens. So now, but first you want to shut off your Bluetooth mouse. And put it somewhere so you don't uh, accidentally out of habit use ah no 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 not that don't do that never mind delete that empty trash empty trash okay um now that I fixed that problem yeah that won't happen to you that was just me accidentally clicking something. Um, just double click install Mac OS X. 
So that's going to open. Click continue. Click agree. Go back, go back, sorry. When this comes up, click utilities. And then click um, restart. And then it should restart. It'll ask for your password. Put in your password. And click OK. And your computer should restart. And boot from the CD. And very, 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 very soon your Mac We'll be back to factory settings. So now it's going to boot from the CD. Alright, so it will have an Apple logo just like when you're booting from normal, but it's booting from the CD. So I'll be back when the menu 